Murlock and Dr. Karras investigate. Murlock was the most famous detective ever. He could solve any mystery, even the most mysterious ones. He travelled all over the world investigating with his friend, Dr. Carrot. One morning, while Murlock was brushing his whiskers, someone rang his doorbell. It was his friend, Dr. Carrot. He came rushing in, waving a newspaper. Have you read this morning's paper? asked Carrot. Not yet, said Murlock. What's happened? Murlock sat in his favourite armchair. He opened the paper and read the article. Ice cream seller's cones are stolen. Murlock thought for a moment. Then he said, Just the cones, not the ice cream? That's strange, very strange. Shall we go and try to solve this mystery, my friend? asked Dr. Carrot. Of course, my dear Carrot, of course, replied Murlock. Murlock and Dr. Carrot went to see Gino, the ice cream seller. He was eating a bowl of strawberry ice cream in his shop. He looked worried. I'm so happy to see you, Mr. Murlock, he said. Look, it's terrible. I don't have a single cone left. I have to serve my ice cream in bowls. Don't worry, we will find the thief before you know it, said Carrot. Murlock got out his magnifying glass to start investigating. Carrot put on some strange glasses. Is that a new gadget? asked Murlock. He picked up a little crumb that was on the floor. Is it a crumb from a cone? said Carrot. No, said Murlock, tasting the crumb. It's a cheese biscuit. But Gino doesn't sell cheese biscuits. Well, said Carrot. Why don't we go to the cheese biscuit factory? At the cheese biscuit factory, Carrot spoke to the manager. Have you noticed any stealing recently? More like nibbling, said Mr. Whisker. Every night, several packets of biscuits were being nibbled. Then we got new doors and that solved the problem. My only worry at the moment is that the machines that sort the biscuits don't know the difference between broken biscuits and whole biscuits. Murlock looked carefully at the new doors and said, Now I see. Really? said Carrot. Is there a link between the stolen cones and the cheese biscuit factory? Of course, my dear Carrot, said Murlock. Of course there is. Then he asked, What's the difference between an ice cream cone and a cheese biscuit? The cheese, said Carrot. Exactly, my dear Carrot, said Murlock. So what do you say we visit Mrs. Edom's cheese shop this evening? That night, Murlock and Carrot hid behind a bin in a dark street near the cheese shop. Would you like to try my new glasses for seeing in the dark? asked Carrot. But he was interrupted by the sound of tiny footsteps. Murlock and Carrot saw a group of grey mice hurry through a little hole under the door of the cheese shop. Then the door of the cheese shop opened. Out came some mice carrying bulging sacks. Goodness me, whispered Carrot. They're stealing cheese. Murlock and Carrot sprang into action. They went into the cheese shop and switched on the lights. Murlock said, Stop, all of you. We have found you out. <coughs> then he closed the door while Carrot blocked up the hole that the mice had come through. They were trapped. The mice trembled with fear. Did you steal Gino's cones? Asked Dr. Carrot. Yes, admitted the mice. Ever since the cheese biscuit factory changed its doors, we haven't been able to nibble our favourite cheese biscuits. 
we decided to make some ourselves by adding cheese to ice cream cones. Well, your plan ends here, said Carrot. The mice were sorry for what they had done and they gave Gino his ice cream cones back. Murloc had solved another mystery. As for Dr. Carrot, he was pleased with himself too. He had persuaded Mr. Whisker, the manager of the cheese biscuit factory, to give the mice work. They sorted the biscuits instead of the machines. The mice were really good at sorting. And in exchange for the work they did, they were allowed to eat all the broken biscuits. The End <laughs>